Hello, welcome back to our video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to make a simple student records management system using HTML, PHP, and MySQL. First, let's open the local server, start the Apache and MySQL. To perform a create, read, update, and delete features, let us follow these steps. Open the browser. In the address bar, type the localhost slash phpMyAdmin to display the databases. Now, click the new button to create a database. In the text box, type the name of our database. For example, student underscore records. Okay, this time we will create a student table. Set the number of columns to 5. Alright, for the first row, type the student ID. Set the type to int. Put 100 for length values and check the auto increment. In the next row, type the first name. Set the type to marker and type the length values. Follow the steps shown in the video. Once you are done, click the save button. So, in the student table, we have a student ID, first name, middle name, last name, and course. Okay, we already set up the database. Now let's proceed in creating the database connection. To create a database connection, open your text editor and follow the code. Okay, to check if we are now connected to the database, open the browser, type the name of the folder where the DB connection is located, 
Then type the name of the PHP file. Press enter to view the output. This time, we will be creating an HTML file to format the web page. Follow the code in the video. In this page, we will put a button to open a page for creating a student record. When the user clicks the Add Student button, it will redirect to at underscore student dot PHP page. This time, Create a table to display the information of a student.
Next, we will create a new file to make a form. In this page, the user allows to add the first name, middle name, last name, and the course of the student. It will save it to the database. After creating the form, let's make a code to process the submitted form and it will save the information of the database. Follow the code shown in the video. We will test if the form is working by displaying the information to the web page. Now let's add a code to insert the data to our database. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video on how to display the records from our database to the web page. If you like this kind of video, please like, comment, and subscribe.